Welcome back to Eager Homestead. It's early. What time is it? I don't even know. <laughs> We've lost power again. I guess it's 6.55, so it's not that early, but I've been up for an hour. Baby, I tried using my baby carrier for the first time this morning, but I think I'm going to need some more practice, and baby, <laughs> baby Eager wanted to do some wiggles this morning. He wasn't interested in being all wrapped up tight, so he's in his little bassinet over here doing some wiggles right now, so I'm totally okay with that. I'm going to pour myself a little bit of iced coffee that I made yesterday, and we're gonna enjoy a cup of cold coffee this morning to help wake us up. What we're doing today is Josh and I are going to go shopping for like a side by side. Oh, oh, he just wanted to make his presence known. Just kidding, he wanted to be held, which is fine. He didn't want to do any more wiggles. He wanted to have his mom hold him, and that's great. I will always oblige. So I'm gonna get myself a little coffee. And this afternoon, we're gonna make some breakfast at some point, but Josh is probably gonna sleep in until around 10.30. I, well, no, he'll probably sleep until around 9.30 because our goal is to try to go look for side-by-sides so that we can use that. We're gonna start building the garden out starting very early January. And so we, have been saving our pennies in order to invest in getting some sort of vehicle that we can use to drive around the property and move compost and gravel and all those types of things. So it's kind of like a Christmas gift to ourselves, like to each other, if that makes sense. And so I want, or we want to try to go ahead and get that before we start the garden project, which is just in a matter of, I think, I think in like a week and a half is when we actually break ground. So that's pretty exciting. And I ordered all of my seed catalogs yesterday. I have clearly not been thinking about gardening very much at all because of this little fella. But now that I'm healthier and better and um, we are kind of getting into a good routine, I can start thinking about 2023's garden season and I'm so excited about that. I do need to get a little bit of cream in my coffee so I'm going to do that now. So Josh and I are basically going to go on a date. I think there's three different dealers around in our area that we're going to go to and look at. He's been doing all the research on all the different kinds. My biggest thing is I don't want it to be super super loud because I've heard that they can be really really loud and just for like the pleasantries of driving it around I would prefer it not to be too loud so we're gonna go out to eat we're gonna go to lunch together and we are gonna just have a good time kind of going on a date so it's gonna be fun so I hope you enjoy hanging out with us today so I'm gonna go cuddle this little guy I think it's time for him to take a little bit of a nap and then we will make some breakfast I have no idea what we're gonna make for breakfast this morning I did decide to go run to the freezer and grab out two breakfast burritos. I thought it would be good if we had something with a good amount of protein in it. What I should have done is probably take those out of the freezer last night and put them in the fridge. But because we're not going to eat them for a while, I'll just set them on the counter and let them thaw for a little bit. The reason Josh is sleeping in so late is because he does the night feedings up until 3 a.m. No, 2 a.m. And then, or I think the last feeding he had was actually at like one last night and then Josh goes to bed and then I take over at three and so um, he gets to sleep in and I go to bed early I go to bed at like eight so it's working out really good for us I'm gonna get these breakfast burritos in the microwave they still are basically completely frozen I think they will microwave up fine I just know that they microwave up beautifully when I have them thawed so we'll see. So I will let you know exactly how this goes. I don't think I've ever microwaved them from this frozen before, so this will be a good test. And I actually have two different kind of tortillas. My favorite kind of tortillas are these whole wheat ones from Azure. And then these were just some that I had had in the house that I had filling. So I use these. These are from Trader Joe's. So we'll see how they do. The key is not to overcook it because then the tortilla dries out. I normally cook it for a minute and a half, so we'll do a minute and a half and see how it goes. The problem when you cook them from frozen is it takes so long to get the inside warm and then you can sometimes overcook the tortilla. While that's microwaving, I'm gonna get Josh some coffee and I'm gonna bring him some coffee and his breakfast in bed. 
I normally make just a whole pot of coffee, but today we're just going to do the Nespresso because I had the iced coffee this morning and I don't think we'll be able to go through a whole pot of coffee this morning. So they're still pretty firm in the inside. I think I'm going to rotate them upside down. We'll do another minute and a half and I think that'll probably be perfect. These are perfect. They're nice and warm through. The tortillas are not dried out at all, which is good. And I feel like they're warm all the way through. So I've got Josh's coffee, a breakfast burrito for each of us. The way I like to eat mine is I just kind of tear the top open a little bit so that I can pour a little bit of hot sauce right on the inside of it kind of and then I eat it with a fork. If I ate this on the go, which I have been known to do, then what I will do is I'll just eat it without hot sauce. But since I'm going to enjoy it here at home, I'm going to pour a little bit of this is our jalapeno tomatillo salsa that we made with all 100% homegrown ingredients except for the salt and vinegar that went into it. So this is something I'm really proud of. I'm going to go bring Josh's breakfast and his coffee and then we are going to get ready for the day. Thank you for hanging out in here in my kitchen while I look like this. This is real life and I have yet to get ready for the day but I'm going to eat this. I'm going to sit down enjoy it get ready for the day and then we are going to go on an adventure today. Hopefully we find what we're looking for. Something that's going to make our future selves projects and our future selves endeavors in the garden a little bit easier and a lot more enjoyable. We figured the wrap out. This is working really well. So this is really an encouraging sight. Boys, please stop whining. They see me packing a bag, my dogs, and they think they're going somewhere. This wrap was a gift to my P.O. box and I'm just really grateful to have it. I think this is going to be a way that I will be able to do things around the house a lot easier. Josh goes back to work in a week and a half and so I'll need a way, because right now he's with either Josh or I 100% of the time, basically in our arms 100% of the time. And so this will be good once Josh goes back to work that I'll be able to get a few more things done like laundry and all those goodies. So I'm packing his bag. We don't actually have a proper diaper bag. I ordered one when he was, um, I don't know, I think a week old, but that was around the Christmas time. I don't know, time is totally a blur to me. I don't know exactly when I ordered it, but because of Christmas, everything with you know shipping is delayed. So I just have this bag here. And he's gonna actually go to grandma's house so that when we go shopping for this side-by-side, -side, we can do it as quickly as possible. We can be as focused as possible, get it done, and we'll hopefully find something. And then we can rush back to him and give him all the cuddles. Josh and I are going to drive separate to his mom's house so that I can leave my car with the car seat in case of an emergency and my mother-in-law needs to take the baby somewhere. She will have my car with the car seat and then we'll take Josh's car to go on our date today. So it's gonna be fun. I got a Starbucks gift card for Christmas, so we are gonna probably stop and get some coffee on the way because we have quite a little bit of a, well, it's about 35, 40 minutes of the drive to the first place we're going. We're gonna go across town through downtown Portland so that we hopefully on the way back can miss traffic. So that's gonna be the goal. So we are gonna head out. I've got everything I need, I believe. I've got everything baby needs. And we are gonna head. We just ordered our Starbucks, which is a special treat for us. And we called a couple different places just to see what the inventory, I'm handing Josh the Starbucks <laughs> gift card. <laughs> we went a little bit big because we had a gift card and we don't always treat ourselves to coffee, so it's kind of a special thing. But we called around to the different, or Josh did, I didn't, to the different dealers, and which I'm glad we did because one of them, it's basically like you have to order them sight unseen because their inventory is so low right now. So we're not even going to go there because I am not comfortable <laughs> purchasing something that I'm going to be using probably quite a bit. Josh will use it too, but I'm envisioning it more for me for working in the garden like when I dig potatoes I can throw all the potatoes in the back of it and drive it up to the house and you know if I'm reloading compost or fertilizer or whatever it might be 
And so I just want to maybe be able to test drive it to make sure it's comfortable. And then I did want to mention, I did not pull out a freezer meal or, and I'm not worried about dinner at all tonight because we have the last meal being delivered to us, the last like food train meal. So it's going to be awesome to be able to come home and be able to not have to worry about dinner. If I didn't have that, I would have pulled out a freezer meal. Well, we'll see you when we get over there. So if you're curious to know what I ordered, this is what I've been ordering for years because it is a way to kind of get like a mocha flavor without spending the price of a mocha. Well, now iced coffees are basically, they're expensive, but this is a Bente iced coffee with two pumps of mocha, which is the chocolate syrup, one pump of vanilla and cream. And so you kind of get that like chocolatey, milky deliciousness, but without all the milk and without all the sugar. Normally they put six pumps in a Bente of the whatever syrup it is, and that's just way too sweet. So this is Mm. delicious. Josh got a nitro cold brew and then we did have that breakfast burrito but we probably won't be eating lunch for probably four hours or so and I'm kind of regretting not packing snacks so we are going to share a banana bread. So now we have about a 45 minute drive to get to where we're going. Cheers Josh. Cheers. <laughs> he doesn't have his cup in his hand. So we're almost there. The first dealership we're going to is off Cornelius Pass in Hillsboro, Oregon, which is where Josh and I got married. Next month it'll be eight years, right? Something like that. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Eight years, right? It'll be eight. Eight, eight yeah. We've been together for ten years in May, I think, right? Yep. Yep. Cool thing is that my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, they went on their first date the same day Josh and I went on our first date. So I'm not good with remembering, but my sister-in-law always posts like, oh, it's our dating anniversary. So then I always am like, oh, congratulations, <laughs> Josh. It's our dating anniversary. But the cool thing is we got married off this exit that we're going um, off right now where this first dealership is. We got married in a hundred and something year old octagonal barn. There is a brewery in the Portland area called McMinimins and they have really cool restaurants where they turn old buildings like they have a old school that they turned into a restaurant there's one that is an old poor farm that they transferred into a restaurant and they're like huge venues so they do like weddings and concerts and all these really fun things and so Josh and I got married in an old barn at a McMinimins so Maybe we'll, we could go there for lunch, maybe, if we want to. Depends on how hungry are, we are, and we are going to want to try to get back to our side of town before traffic hits really bad. So that's kind of why we were trying to get over, do the Oregon stuff, and then drive back to Washington before it gets too traffic heavy, because today's Thursday. That's it right there. So we're, it's tucked in behind here. You can't see it because of all these trees, but right in here, this is where, in that building where we did a bunch of our pictures, but the barn is behind that building. We just got here and the inventory on the outside here looks like they more have like sports vehicles, like- Very cool, sporty. <laughs> yeah, like off-roading type vehicles. So I think that's what more people are in the market for, but I'm excited. I see something, but the bed looks a little bit smaller than I think that I'm wanting, but We'll definitely be able to at least test drive. Hopefully, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully. And Josh made a good point that it's raining today. <laughs> and so it'll be interesting to see what it's like test driving them in the rain. So here they are. So this green, dark green one is one that has a bed that I'm like, well, maybe that's kind of what we're looking for, but I don't really know. Josh is the one that's done the majority of the research on these. You can see this is definitely like a sports vehicle. That's not at all what we're looking for. Something that I'll be able to drive and put, you know, compost and potatoes and... So that does have pretty decent size, I guess. Yeah, let's go in and see what they have. Yeah, so hopefully they have more inside. So inside, those are all toys. <laughs> we're not looking for a toy. We're looking for a utility vehicle that is going to help us on our new farmstead, homestead garden but here's some more but these still look like toys look at that it does look like fun though yeah that's i think that yamaha the first one is the only one that's kind of even sort of what we're looking for you see one back there oh this okay 
I think we may have found more what we're looking for. There's some over there. Are there? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's right back there. This all feels like... That's definitely a very utilitarian. This, oh, it is squishy. Yeah, now this here, this is more of what we're looking for. Like, yeah. This is also uh, like the width of a truck. This is. A yeah, that's like a truck bed. Now, does this come up at all? I'm sure it does. Sure it does? Yeah. See, like this, the bed of this one's a little small. Yeah. And it's more camo. Yeah. Never find it. <laughs> I would lose it in the in the garden. Yeah. Well, this is cool how this opens. Yeah, it's on both sides. Let's go and talk to someone. Okay. To an eye catcher. <laughs> it's not an eye. No, it's a utility vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it would help me get more garden stuff Bar done quicker. What we're gonna do now is see if we can find a salesperson to get a little bit more information on what they have. They're not as aggressive as other places, so <laughs> I, I, maybe that's a good thing. They're not no one following us. Yeah. I'm glad I wore my rain boots. Yep. Was the other one? I'll have to look. We're trying to figure out if this one is taller. So this one has a shorter bed. It's also, I think, maybe narrower, but maybe not. No, I think it's the same width. Just, uh... Does the red one? Does the red one do Very that? <laughs> um, yeah. But it'd be nice to get one that's like hydraulic, hydraulic or something, because if you have stuff in it, then you're like lifting. Yeah. That's true. So one thing we've noticed is these ones don't have windshields, um, but you can do like an aftermarket or just have one installed. You can see how that one, it just kind of clips on. So if we got something like this, we could get a windshield put onto it. With how much it rains around here, that might be something that we would want. We're trying to think through if we want one that's a little bit smaller, like this one with a smaller bed that would be easier to maneuver around the property versus the red one that was so big because it would be about right out to here. Is that just like having a truck? Because we have that one work truck and would that just be a little too much, you know, because if we needed something that was that big, we could just use the truck versus this is just, you know, to get around the property and move produce and stuff like that. There's this one too. This is a six seater. So this one has six seats and a good size bed, about the same size bed as the one we were just looking at. I can't imagine this. Too much. We don't need. No. It would be such a waste of like space. Yeah. We might as well get, this is like the same length as that one with the huge bed. That's we true. We stuff. would rather have a bigger bed. Yeah. Probably do need one with a roof. I think so at least like if it's raining, if it's pouring, you can, get in and get out of like the yeah. direct pouring rain that to me just seems like this one doesn't have a roof in the pacific northwest you kind of need a roof cool thing about this one is that it has a second row of seats but josh made a good point that if i was to put compost like directly into that then that compost is unless it's in a bag or something it's going to get down because it's not a solid bed you can see where the line is then your compost is going to kind of work its way obviously through that because it's not a solid bed. So we cannot test drive the vehicle, unfortunately, because I guess someone got hit by a car or something. And so I did talk him into though, turning it on and he's gonna drive it around the parking lot so we can hear how loud it is. The biggest reason I want to know how loud it is because we have a family friend that has a side-by-side -side, like one of these, not exactly what we're looking at, but it's so loud, you basically have to wear earplugs in it and I don't want that doesn't sound like a pleasant experience and I you know my gardening is somewhere that I enjoy and I want it to be like a peaceful enjoyable experience and so he said this machine right here is very quiet so also time, filming 
Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So I'm excited to see what the volume of this vehicle is. Yeah, this thing is super quiet. When they uh, first changed the motor out about five or six years ago in these, I go, is that a diesel? Almost sounds like a diesel, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. You know, then give it, that's just live uh, and then gas. Like old tractor. No. Cool. better perspective of how big it is well that was a good first stop the one thing I was telling Josh is that when there's not much in stock it doesn't take super long to kind of get your feel for what's out there we the salesman was great we are gonna head to the next place and just see what they have but that red one was pretty pretty cool kind of I think what we're looking for along those lines I guess that's why they say it's best for a consumer to have three choices. Three choices? Yeah, makes it, that's the easiest. Easiest to choose from when, yeah. after he pulled it out of the parking spot, it didn't seem as big as when it was back. And so I think that we wouldn't want to go any smaller with the bed, because we were thinking maybe we want a smaller bed, but I think that if we're gonna go ahead and get something like this, we would want something about that size or yeah, not much smaller. So we've got about a 30 minute drive. We're not gonna get lunch over here. We're, we're still gonna be in, Port we're in Hillsboro right now. Now the next dealership is going to be in Portland. So we're working our way back. And then the third dealership we're going to is going to be in Vancouver, which is in Washington. So what's hard with traffic is getting from the Oregon Portland side into Washington. So we're not gonna get lunch over here cause that's just gonna take too much time. And that's gonna put us right during traffic. So on to the next place, we've got about a 30 minute drive. We are in a really interesting part of Portland. It's the super industrial area. If you watched us go shopping for the trend that we put in our house, we're really, really close to there. But I wanna show you something super cool. We are right next to, so Portland is known as the city of bridges cause we have more bridges crossing the Willamette River in the downtown area than any other city. And you can see right here, when we were driving across, I kind of showed you a little bit, or I tried to, but the it's really obviously super foggy today. So there's a bridge here, there's a ferry, and unfortunately you can't really see it, but over here there's a submarine because there's a place called OMSI, which is like a kid's science museum that's super, super cool. But this bridge right here was just built, well, probably like four or five years ago now. It feels like it was just built, but this is a pedestrian bridge. So there's the only thing that goes across, I think the max goes across it, which is like our train system for and buses, commuting. Apparently. Oh, I thought. But oh. I've only seen buses and people. So. There's a bus somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a walking and biking bridge. And I've biked across it. I haven't walked across it, but it's kind of cool. I love Portland, so it's cloudy. This is, we're known for like rain. We don't get a ton of like inches of rain, but this time of year, it's very rare we see the sun <laughs> or the blue sky. It's just really gray like this and kind of like misty. Now, you probably can't see that, but it's misty out here right now. But this is a super fun place. We're gonna go look for, what is it called? A UTV. UTV. So this has boats and stuff too. So this will be a fun place to look into. There's one right there. So it can go up on curbs, no problem. This dealership was really cool, but it mostly had toys, lots of snowmobiles and these fun off-roading vehicles. They only had one type of machine that was anything that would fit our needs. So we were able to take this blue side-by-side -side that was in front of the building and go on a drive, which was great because we got a feel for it, to their other location, which had this machine. And this was the only one at this dealership that was anything we were looking for. The hydraulic system on this lift was really nice and I was able to get into it and rev the engine a little bit and see what it sounded like. That is nice. What we are finding is there are very, very few of these. They are like the, what is something that is hard to find? Like the golden ticket? So there was only one that really was anything that we would want here. And I'm glad that I was able to get into it and kind of hear it. And it's definitely quiet and way quieter than that 
thing that we were driving around in so that's good that's important to me um we're not ready to make any decisions there's one more place we are going to go but first we are going to go ahead and get some lunch because we are pretty hungry so we are going to go get some thai food We had kind of changed our plan just a little bit while we've been sitting in traffic we've been thinking and talking and we're going to go get to lunch because we're really hungry and we're really excited but we might skip the third place we were going to go look at them because the supply is so limited when we get to lunch we are going to go ahead and just call that third dealership and ask them exactly what they have because if it's anything like the last two and the one we called earlier the supply is going to be very very small and we could just get an idea of what they have before we even go and if we even need to drive up there I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna make a purchase today it's just been kind of a good get our feet wet kind of go and test drive we didn't even test drive them but hear how loud they are the one that we drove around when we were going on that wild goose chase that one was really really loud so we definitely know that that's the brand we don't want that brand kind of more is for like fun off-roading type vehicles which is clearly not what we're in the market for but both of the ones that we uh, kind of were thinking that might be possibilities, those ones were a lot quieter. So we're glad we got to hear them. So that was definitely something that was good today. So I'll let you know if we're gonna end up going to that third dealership today. Maybe they have exactly what we want. So I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and Josh grew up all over the country. He was born in Michigan but he has been living in Washington since you were, I think, a freshman in high school, right? Uh, sixth grade. Oh, sixth grade. So Washington is home for him now, and I have been living in Washington since we got married eight years ago next month. We're going on our lunch date, which feels like such a luxury to be able to go out together at lunchtime. And we are going to look up while we sit here. Josh, you can see Josh, he's working there. He is looking up the third dealership and I'm super glad that he did this because the third dealership has so many more options. Look how good this lunch is. It was so fantastic. This place is called Ginger Pop and it's in Vancouver if you want to go get yourself some really yummy curry noodles. But I'm just glad that Josh took the time to do some research. We probably should have gone to this third place first, but if we didn't go to the first two, we would have never known. Just got here and we can already tell that this is gonna be a probably the best place we've been so far. It looks like they have quite a bit of inventory. So one thing we were talking about at lunch or I was is I was worried about the short bed whether you would be able to put a shovel in it because you couldn't put a shovel this way without it falling out because it's not long enough I don't think I think the weight of the shovel would tip the shovel out but you could certainly in a short bed put the shovel vertically and it would work just fine because that's what I'm thinking also that I will want to lug around because I'm not going to keep my shovels and spades and hose and all that stuff down in the garden because there won't be any area it's for any near future where I could store them without them getting rained on and stuff like that so if I could put all my you know shovels and rakes and hose and everything in here I could drive it down and then put it back up so I do need to make sure that there is an way to if we go with a short bed that I can put all of my farming tools in it something to know with this one which is the same as the red one you have to unlock both sides but it has a wider bed this is a shorter bed than the red one but it's wider than this Ranger but the Ranger you only have to use one little handle on either side to have it pop up so that's something to note no decision has been made, but what it really ultimately comes down to probably is this silly latch, is the Ranger, the Polaris, you can easily, with one hand, open the bed, super easily, and close it, versus the Kawasaki. There are latches on either side, so in order to open this bed and have it lift up, you have to unlatch the latch on both sides. 
They both are great vehicles, it feels like, for what we need. This bed is a few inches longer than the Ranger, but this bed is not as deep. So it has about the same capacity. Like if I was to put compost in it, both of them are good. One thing to note, the, the Kawasaki, this is metal, which could get scratched and then potentially rust. And with the Ranger, it's a heavy duty plastic that would be like in the, the back of, this is the same plastic here, like a truck or something. So it probably long-term would be more doable. So we're gonna go home now and we're gonna go get our little baby and do some cuddling and just sleep on it and think about it and not make any decision tonight. And we have dinner being brought to our house tonight so we don't even have to think about dinner tonight. So what a blessing.